Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rosie and today I have another masterpiece here to show you guys which I call the Fountain Pro Lamp. Somebody let the sun come up again. So guys, this is where I've started. I basically cut out cardboards in a certain sizes in order to form a rectangular shaped box. And this cardboard is triple layered. It's very, very thick in a point that my glue gun is not even doing the work. And I felt like I'm wasting my glue stick. So I finish up the work using sellotape. So my box is fully formed now and I'll go ahead and seal all the sides with the cement in a newspaper and I'll let it dry for about 24 hours before it's ready for the next step. And I realized that I ran out of gloves after I already mixed the cement and I decided to finish the job without it. Because if I go to the supermarket to buy a pair of gloves, by the time I come back, the cement could probably be dried up. So there was a lesson learned here. Always check a materials that you need before you start a work. Somebody let the sun come up again What you need is the heat of the summer Lost your mind, need the light to recover I swear we're headed on the bed So here it is, all dried up and hard enough for the next project. So I have a 2x2 two two plywood which I'm going to be using as a base of my stand. And I've also prepared two more boxes in a different size. So I'll put all together on the wood to make sure it gives me the setup that I wanted before I screw them all together. And this time around my bulb shades are going to be calabashes. I got these ones around Kariakor. There's a Maasai guy who sells these calabashes so i just saw them and i'm like why not let's give it a try so guys this is my very first time to use a calabash on my project so we'll all see how it will turn out and the next thing i'll leave a mark on the plywood using a pencil before i remove the blocks so that it will be easier to know where i should be using the screws Somebody let the sun come up again What you need is the heat of the summer Lost your mind, need the light to recover I swear we're headed on the better days And the sun will come So I decided to cut the plywood in a circle to remove the unnecessary sharp edges and make the stand look more classy and presentable And for this work, I'm going to be using a jigsaw And the next work is going to be the legs of the stand and I'm going to make them out of an empty water bottles. So I'll simply cut the bottom parts of the bottles because that's what I'm going to be using for this project. It has a line that goes round so I'll just follow that line to make sure they are all equal and even. Thank you. 
and now I'll pierce the center and pass the screw facing upwards and once done I'll fill it with a cement mixture I'll let it to dry for about few minutes and I'll screw them at the bottom of the stand and we are good to go And now here everything is intact and I've used screws to attach the blocks to the plywood and also one another. So now I'm ready to make my texture. And the reason I've made them in different sizes is to create a gap between the calabashes so that it will look more like water is pouring from the top passing through all the pots all the way down which technically give us the waterfall effect. So this is what I'm going to be using for a texture. These are a lot, a lot of newspapers, guys. I soaked them for about two days and now they are soft enough as I want them to be. Next, I'll add some Pono glue, cement and some gypsum powder as well. Mix everything together and that should definitely create the texture I'm looking for. So the reason I'm using a paper mache is to reduce the weight of the fountain floor lamp because I'm intended to create more of a bumpy texture. And if I do that with the cement, it will add a lot of weight to the object. So guys, as you remember, I gave away the sculpture floor lamp last week to the winner. And I've also scheduled the fireplace and the mirror to be given away to one of you guys on this Christmas, but no one has participated since. So I'm forced to postpone the date to January 23rd. The rules are very simple than you think and someone can easily walk away with my offers. So I want to encourage you guys to participate as the offer will only remain for a few months. So I'm done with the texture and now I'm going to cover it up with some cement which I've prepared like so. This is how the newspaper texture look like and this is how I'm going to apply the cement on top of it. Falling on your feet, do you finally see what you're missing? Just one lost soul here to break the mold When you see me, do you believe in a higher love? Somebody let the sun come up again What you need is the heat of the summer Lost your mind, need the light to recover I swear we're headed on the bed and we are back guys literally after a week of waiting for the cement to dry up i had to wait this long due to this cold weather of nairobi but finally we are here we'll do some scrubbing and next apply some paints So I want the blocks to look more like a pile of rocks and I want to paint them accordingly but the first shade of grey I've created was far from what I had in mind. So I went ahead for another darker shade of grey.
Lost your mind, need the light to recover. I swear we're headed on the better days, and the sun will come up again. Cause you brought me the sun. This shade of grey was a bit close to what I wanted, so I'll let it sit for about a few minutes and we'll highlight the rough textures with a lighter shade of grey to make them look more realistic. So this is how it looks finally. I'm not sure if you guys can see the texture due to the light reflection, but this is how it came out. So here is the color bash. I'll just draw a random shape on it and I'll cut it using a saw. And guys, like I've said earlier, it's my first time working on a color bash and I had to deal with its awful smell and cutting it wasn't even fun at all. I even ended up cutting my finger in the process. You guys will see that in a short while. It was that annoying, but we had to push and get this thing done. Somebody let the sun come up again What you need is the heat of the summer Lost your mind, need the light to recover I swear we're headed on the better days And the sun will come up again Cause you brought me the sun And here it is finally. Guys, don't ask me about the smell. I just can't wait to get it over with. Now next, I'll sand where I cut as well as the internal parts before applying my paint. At first, I was thinking to use its original color to make the final look more natural. But as you can see, it has I don't know how many shades of brown. So I decided to cover it with paint. And I'll show you guys how in just a bit. So for the internal part, I'm going to apply cement before using any spray paint. If there's any of you who have seen a color bash before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The internal part has this soft cotton-like texture and spraying paint on it will only be wastage of time and money. It will absorb everything and look like nothing has been done on it. So giving it a smooth coat of cement will help the paint not to be absorbed entirely and will have the bright color visible at the end. So it'll break the mold when you see me. Do you believe in a higher love? Somebody let the sun come up again. What you need is the heat of the summer. Lost your mind, need the light to recover. I swear we're headed on the better days, and the sun will come.
so here it is this is how it looks like i let it set overnight and it's ready to be painted so i'll start by applying the golden spray paint for the internal parts and i'll proceed with the external design So for this design, I'll use a hot glue gun to draw some shapes and once it cools down, I'll spray paint it black. Falling on your feet, do you finally see what you're missing? You're just one lost soul, it'll break the mold when you see me, do you believe in a high... And here it is, it's completely covered with black paint and it's very shiny as you can see. So now I want to tone it down with some Windsor and Newton acrylic paint. This color is called Burnt Sienna and this is what I've applied on the dummy on my previous video. Now it looks more like burnt clay so next I'll spray some gold on a sponge and highlight the design I've made with a hot glue gun. This is interesting guys, look how it turned out. I'm already in love with this and I can't wait to see what's next. What you need is the heat of the summer Lost your mind, need the light to recover I swear we're headed on the better days And the sun will come up again So guys we are almost done and now it's the cabling part. And this is how it went down. Falling on your feet, do you finally see what you're missing? You're just one lost soul, it'll break the mold When you see me, do you believe in a higher love? Somebody let the sun come up again What you need is the heat of the summer 
Lost your mind, need the light to recover. I swear we're headed on the better days, and the sun will come up again. As you brought me the sun. And done with the cabling. And the reason you are seeing the cables hanging outside is because that is where the fountain will be drawn. At the same time, in case of needing to change another cable, you will not go through demolishing the entire thing. It will be easy to replace. Now I'll use a plastic sheet to wrap up the cables before applying the hot glue gun. That way it will be easier to remove when necessary. You can as well replace this part with a transparent water pipe. Now I'm using a sticker to form the shape of the water. And the sticker is only for preventing the hot glue gun from pouring all over the place so the color doesn't matter. And I've also applied Vaseline on the sticker so that it will be easy to remove after the glue gun dried up. And basically this is how I drew my waterfall. Falling on your feet, do you finally see what you're missing? And the glue is now dry, so I'll go ahead and remove the sticker, hoping for the best. Look at this, guys. Now you know why this process was applied here. Look how we achieved the curvy shape of the waterfall. And all the way to the top. And now I'm going to use some butterflies and some seashells to complete the fountain. Somebody let the sun come up again What you need is the heat of the summer Lost your mind, need the light to recover I swear we're headed on the Falling on your feet, do you finally see what you're missing? And here it is finally, with the lights on Look at it, it's so beautiful guys, love it Thank you so much guys for making it till the end of this video. Next time I'll see you with another work. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. And I'll see you soon. Bye bye. What you need is the heat of the summer. Lost your mind, need the light to recover. I swear we're headed on the better days and the sun will come up again.
come up again What you need is the heat of the summer Lost your mind, need the light to recover I swear we're here 